Hello, Leo. How are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your next love coming towards you reading. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or personal readings, all of it's in the description box for you. Personal readings are on sale right now. You can receive a three-question recorded video reading for $25 or an hour Zoom reading for $55. And everything you need to know is in that description box below. All right, let's take a look and see what is going on for you guys. Next love coming towards you, their feelings. We have the Five of Pentacles. Their intentions. We have the Seven of Swords. And their next actions towards you, we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Star card at the bottom of the deck. This says, have faith that healing is in the forecast. So I feel like somebody's wishing and hoping to kind of heal things with you here. With this five of pentacles being their feelings, they could be feeling very left out in the cold or they're feeling like a lot is missing uh, without you in their life. So the five of pentacles could be feeling lost, lonely, left out in the cold. Um, they just feel a lot of lack, you know, in general with that five of pentacles. It's like they're really seeing how much value you had added to their life, especially with that ten of pentacles showing up. It's you are what they want. You know, when they think about what they want, you know, and what's important to them moving forward, what they want their life to be like in 20 years, who they want beside them, you know, they picture you here. And I feel like maybe in the past, especially with this Ten of Pentacles and Five of Pentacles, maybe they didn't see that or maybe they took you for granted or they didn't appreciate you. The Seven of Swords definitely can be a card of, you know, self-sabotage and things of that nature. So we're going to take a look and see with the Seven of Swords being their intentions, though. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. So we are going to clarify that. We're also going to get the challenge between the two of you. We have the three of cups. And the potential outcome. We have the ace of cups. So it does look like there's going to be an opportunity in the future for you guys to come back together if you want. If you want. Okay, it looks like there will be an opportunity for that here. The, the Three of Cups, I don't think that's good. I may be a little bit more easier said than done, we'll say, with the Three of Cups being the challenge. You know, the Three of Cups can definitely talk about coming back together, reconciliation. It, it may be difficult to get things back to a good place after whatever's happened here. So let's start to clarify and see what's going on. Tell me about this Seven of Swords energy. Why is this Seven of Swords energy here for Leo? We have the Nine of Cups and the Three of Cups and the Eight of Cups. So I feel like what somebody's not being honest about is how is their intentions. I feel like somebody could be reaching out to you here, Leo, but under the pretenses of something else. Okay. Um, it's almost like they're trying to get their foot back in the door. They're trying to have some kind of communication with you here. But I don't feel like they're just reaching out like, hey, I want to get back together. You know, I really miss you. Like, they're not coming They're not coming forward in that way. I definitely feel like they're trying to find a back door back into your life, right, and let it get into that. And I feel like that's what that Seven of Swords energy is about because to me this looks like, you know, what they're not being honest about is – that they have not been good since you walked away, that they do want to reconcile here, and um, the Nine of Cups, that that's what they're wishing for. And I also feel like they could be presenting themselves like they're fine, like they're doing really good on their own, they're happy. You know, the Nine of Cups can be a card of feeling emotionally happy, satisfied, and content. You know, and I feel like that that's kind of what they are. It's kind of like the front that they're putting on, but that's not quite the truth. They're having, I don't feel, I feel like they're having quite a hard time without you here, Leo. And they do want to come back together. So I, I would expect to hear from this person. I would just expect to hear from them under some, like with some kind of different excuse or reason for hitting you up. But understand that this is the real reason why they're reaching out to you right now, okay? Tell me about this Three of Cups. Why is that going to be a challenge? Why is coming back together, reconciling a challenge? We have the King of Swords. So you may, you know, the King of Swords can be somebody who, you know, has boundaries up. 
Um, it could be somebody who's, you know, trying to be emotionally detached, especially if you cut this out, you know, because you felt like it wasn't what was best for you. Um, even if they were the ones that left, you could be in this kind of detached boundaries energy because you're not wanting to experience whatever you did in the past with this person. So that could definitely make it a little bit more challenging. I also feel the King of Swords is the only court card that faces you head on about being very direct and upfront and honest. I feel like this person not just coming forward and, and being all the way up front and transparent about their intentions. Um, you know, I feel like that could be a challenge as well. And like I said, I don't feel like they have bad intentions. I just feel like, you know, they're trying to approach you in a different way, we'll say. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? I have the Ace of Wands. So two Aces, it's definitely, there's definitely potential here for you guys to kind of like, uh, like kindle things back up again if that's what you want, okay? But I do feel like the choice is yours. Um, but that is what I have for you guys. I hope that this helps. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you guys can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.